and kick out all the other aspirants from uh, na mtazamaji mswada wa ugavi wa raslimali hapa nchini unazidi kuibua tumbo joto kwa sasa anaitoa taarifa akikutana na wanahabari ni mwenyekiti wa chama cha kutetea haki za wafanyikazi wa county hebu sasa tupate hiyo taarifa ambayo tunaipata hapa da, eh, moja kwa moja and some chemicals detergents they were told to buy on, a, on the promise that they will be reimbursed and none has been reimbursing this and then if you compute that today and off days a specific case in Nairobi city council there are some enforcement officers my dear friends who have 2000 hours of overtime you don't compute all this salary leave what have you pension as you had you don't compute all this then you come around whistling <whistles> voluntary retirement and you call them to some hotel and then you say hi so where is the workers ask where is our pension and you say you know that one will try to pay as individually you walk out you first walk out when you are outside there will pay you surely this is cruel i have said this before that will not accept now listen to this this has been clearly demonstrated the unwillingness to deal with workers in accordance with the law and the labor relations act has been demonstrated by the huge debts owed to workers by county governments in unremitted statutory and non-statutory reductions including the refusal to comply with section 54 of the labor relations act sub article 1 and 2 that says a trade union that has members within your employment is entitled to recognition you shall recognize subject to them having recruited members and the reason <coughs> for that recognition is for collective bargaining agreement purposes and it says shall i am grateful to those who have signed this uh, recognition articles they have executed big cities we are happy with them nairobi for the purpose of recognition, CBA is ongoing, Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, and there are others still resisting, God knows for why. And the law is clear. They even say, Kweli, Lakini, Badoi Copending Bills. What does that to do with having the employee, getting the employee enjoy his rights under Article 41 of the Constitution? In addition, working conditions in the counties have worsened since the inception of devolution. Workers' welfare has been thrown into the backseat. You know that as much as I know. In backseat by a majority of, majority of the governors. Workers' salaries have not been increased for a long time. The last time we have had increase under the old agreement was, I think, uh, 2011 or thereabout. This is now eight years, going to the ninth year. It's unfair. And government data from Central Bureau of Statistics showing inflation, rising the cost of living. They are clear. And the purpose of collecting that data is to make corresponding remuneration awards. To revise. They are just collected. Nobody does anything. We raise them. Say first, they don't even sign the necessary articles. The employees are entitled also, by the way, to growth. If a company has grown, from point A to point B. The growth is, say, 10 million. You need to share with them a certain percentage of this growth. And we'll press for that to happen also. So none of this has happened in the counties. It's very unfortunate. Once we had a breakthrough the other day in Nairobi, some other beast, and I call them a beast, what to Hawana Ro, Kabisa, Utu, call the SRC. They came and said, no, 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 we were not consulted. Where were you? Uh, you know, we were just somewhere and that could 230 of the constitution we must give advice it was so they never gave and after a recognition is registered in the register of recognition agreement by a competent judge of kenya's high court they are able to come and turn that uh, into a nullity and we had a lot of problem we have complained our issues are with the judicial service commission Regarding that judgment, our issues are in the Court of Appeal and will pursue 
And I have no doubt at the end of it, that is why they say the struggle of the workers shall continue. And victory will be certain. It may take time. It may claim casualties. But I can tell you at the end of it, victory is certain. Because it's pursuit of justice. It is not meant to hurt anybody. Workers' salaries have not been increased for a long time despite the hard economic times in the disguise of huge wage bill. The story you get is wage bill. Wage bill. I gave you a narration. Kibaki found the same thing this way. Income and revenue are the same in this republic. He didn't care about expenditure. I mean, income and expenditure was the same. So he didn't care about expenditure. All he did, all he did was to jack this up. Revenue went up and dwarfed the expenses. Nobody had an issue. In two years of his presidency, the local budget was financed to an extent of 93%. From own sources, you will only borrow seven. Earlier before his coming, before the coming of his regime, we were, at, we were only able to raise around 40%. 60% was borrowing. So the question of looking at things positively and appreciating the input of the workers, by the way, is very critical. The governors, the governors must do all it takes to end this worker suffering. And now we are telling you, in conclusion, the purpose of this letter and this protest and the purpose of calling you is to put in public domain within the knowledge of the public. And our members who have this communication in writing is to register our disappointment with the performance of the current and past council of governors. The current one is worse. This one is hyper doing other things other than county government affairs. In addressing workers and grievances in the 47 counties, county government workers are honorable citizens of this country who must be allowed to have their share of the national cake. They must be allowed. And enjoy it like every other person, more so to the extent of their sweat, is normal. They had earned salaries which can only be enjoyed when paid in a timely manner. We all have loans, we have commitments, so to take us to another path where you say, now I can't pay you salaries because I'm discussing something, there's a conflict between us and between senators and parliament, tell that to the birds. Not interested, completely. We further want all county governments to be prepared to face the wrath of the workers because we are seeing a problem. The problem we are seeing is they think workers are that foolish. You can dupe them, don't pay them, they take to the streets and say they are protesting against revenue bill. That is not correct. We are with the president. We are with the National Assembly, who have just said this is all what the country has. I think it is only fair and logical, reasonable, and do a service, your national duty, to live within your means. The country must live within its means. We further want all county governments to be prepared to face the wrath of the workers should they fail to pay the July salaries and other subsequent salaries as and when due, as provided in the law and the contract of employment. We may have, and this is very clear, this letter is, will give you the, to the media houses and all our workers, the branch secretaries have been given this, and we have told them to psych the workers and prepare them. And we may involve we are in discussions with other unions within the public sector. We have the Nazis Union, we have the Union of Civil Servants. We have Ketau. We have the Doctors Union. There are quite a number of unions within the public sector. We are discussing. And for the first time, we may take a strong industrial action against county governments collectively. In the past, they have not been feeling it because Every person does it alone. The call is now, as a chair of the Public Service International local chapter, I'm letting all concerned know that this is an event coming. Questions? You will get a copy of this letter.